was going at the same time. And let's change sides now. That's it. Whoa. And a bit of a backstroke. So while I'm doing my mobilisation, I'm going to go a bit closer because I want to see what people are saying. Excellent. And a front crawl. Right, it's going to be 30 seconds, an exercise for our warm-up. No break whatsoever. So we've got another 10 seconds. Let's do some rotations. 10 seconds to start. I think we're bringing it down. Oh, hips. Three. Other way. Two. One. We start nice and easy with some heel dicks. So what you're doing, that's all you're doing, bringing the feet forward. Using your arms, you're actually going to work on weight warm up a lot quicker. Have you got your tunes on? Have you got your best music on? I don't. I'm in the kitchen as well, so I have to keep it a little bit down. Just things shake. <laughs> Three, two, one. Knee lifts now. So I'm going opposites. You can do it both at the same time if you want. You can do that to here. You can even do a bicep curl. That's it. So what we're doing now is we're warming up the glutes, coming into the hamstrings. Got to make sure everything's working and nice and warm, especially if you've just jumped out of bed. Three, two, one. Side taps. Nice and easy. We like a side tap. Warming up the inside thigh, warming up the lateral muscles. Got to keep them moving. Don't forget to add your arms. You can do that one as well if you like. Spatial awareness though, I just had to watch the kettle. That's it. Side to side. You can go a little bit further if you want. Now I'm just going to turn to the side for your next move. It's actually a step back. So there you can see what's happening. My shoulders are slightly forward to take the pressure off my back. Stepping back with that leg. So I was going to do this warm, this um, hit class outside. It's just raining. It started to rain here now, so I don't do that. I don't do rain. I don't do exercising outside in um, all nice conditions. Step, step, step. Right, bring it back here. Front kick. So you're getting warmer now. So you can start to bring that leg a little bit higher. So yes, I brought this exercise session into my kitchen. Forgot to turn the radiator off last night. I'm steaming already. Why? Can we get a little bit higher? Wait. So show me your soul. <laughs> but keep your shoulders back. Four, three, two. One, can you do a run like this? If not, let's make it fast. If I move back here, you might not hear my cooker. Up and down, up and down. Lifting from the hip. On the toes. So this particular workout, it's almost silent. So if you live in a flat, it's all good. Lifting those knees up. Now, let's go for a bit of a mummy kick. Ooh. Kick, flick, flick, flick. If you want to, bring it higher. I don't want to. I'm gonna keep it down here. Hopefully you've got your water, because you're gonna need it. Not long now. Five, four, three, two, side flicks. So you kind of go for your bottom and then flick it out to the side. All the time, try not to kick any furniture or small children. Remember, still using the arms. Remember, you can always take it down to that. Three, two, one. One more. Hamstring count. Turn the toes and the knees out. Bring the shoulders slightly forward, but remember, brace your core. Up, down, up, down. Woo! Five, four. Let's go 
let's get deeper. Two, one. Are you warm? Because I'm warm. Grab yourself a drink. Section one. Once again, 30 seconds, no break. Let's start with a no impact skater. Basically, it is what it says on the tin. Let's get down low. How low can you go? Push off the sides of your feet so you'll actually feel the work on the outside of your thighs. I hope you've remembered to put your banging tunes on people. Woo! Side to side, taking it lower. So you don't actually have to jump. Now the lower the chest is, the more work on the glutes, a little bit on the outside thigh, when you're pushing side to side. And now, three, two, bring it down to pulse. Pulsing squats. If you took your bottom under, shoulders back, all the time thinking about pushing your knees outwards. If you push your knees outwards, you start to really engage all of these muscles. So this is the, the second warm up. We're easing into the main body of the exercise. I know you can't wait. Down, down. Always tucking your bottom under. Try and keep pushing those knees out a little bit. Three, two, bring it up. Give me a leg lunge. Ah, not a step back, the lunge. So it's a light one, but you're taking your foot as far back as you can. Ah. So light meaning, it's not plyo. Plyometrics, it's coming later. Ah, this is nice, I like this. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Got a bit of a rest. And then we've got one more exercise in this section. You know how I was talking about light lunges? They've disappeared. Now you're gonna to touch the floor. Three, two, one. Touch the floor, change. How far back can you get your leg? All the way back, can you make it straight? Touch, touch, touch. If you speed it up, it hurts less. Honestly, they're my famous last words. Ooh. So the reason we have a little break is because we're gonna do close to a minute of these just to finish off that section. How you doing? Whoa, we are. Three, two, one. Relax. Drink. One leg. So let's go with that slide squat. Three, two, this leg only. Side. Bring it back. How about testing yourself and not putting any weight on this foot whatsoever? You could even bring it up in a knee. See, it's halfway with this one already. Ah. All right, let's go with this one. We'll do both sides at the same time. Now, do you have your mat or are you in the living room where you've got your carpet down? I've got my mat here. Down and up. Three, two, one. Grab your mat. We actually get a rest in between now. It's 15 seconds, not much, but you can, uh, all you need. Our next one, walk out to lie down. You stand nice and wide. Ah, back up again. Ah, lie down. Feet and hands off the floor and up. Feet and hands off the floor. When you get back up, Make sure you're getting up in that squat position with the knees turned out. So don't go all bendy leg, don't do that. Don't, no. Bring it down and up again. Down and up. Food of thought, lying down, we're so flipping hard. Again. If you notice, I'm going down in a squat position and up in a squat position. I don't know what time it is, give me another one. And up. Grab yourself a drink, you've got 15 seconds. 
Actually, I think we did one too many there, but it's all good. Squat to press up now. Three, two, one. Squat down, walk out, press up, bring it up, walk it up. I'm gonna try it this way. Squat down, walk it out, press up, bring it up. Now, because it's only one press up, I'm sure you can give me chest to floor. Down and up. Walk it back. Again. Down and up. Nearly there, I hope. Down and up. I'm going to do one more than I'm going to chat time. <laughs> Down and up. And making that squat count as I come up. And relax. He did actually quite well. He did an extra 15 seconds, but who cares? Because it means now we're going straight into the next one, which is lie down, baby. Have a drink. How you all doing out there? You doing well? All right. Hello, everybody. Hello, Kieran. Hello, Dr. Dre. <laughs> Hello, Nick. Oh, Emma, you're all here. I hope you're all sweating like I am. Look, uh, right, you ready for your squat to burpee? Of course you are, everybody's always ready. So I'm gonna lean it this way. Three, two, one, go. Squat, burpee, squat. Look, let's have a press up in it. Cause life's good. Press up. So those of you that work out with me regularly know that this is easy because this is less than half of a Terry. If you want to know what a Terry is, inbox me. This is so much fun. And you know, it never really started to rain, so there's a few drops. I got scared and ran inside. Uh, one more, let's see. Down, press up, uh, shake it off, and get a drink. <laughs> All right, lying down now. Ooh, let's go this way. Can you see me? Three, two, one. Give me 30 sequins. You touch your ankles, bring it back down. Two, three. Try and get your head in between your knees and try to touch your ankles with every one. That's how you get a true one, everyone, because otherwise, by the time you get to 20, you're like, huh, huh. So if you make sure you touch the feet and try and get your head in between your knees every time, you won't have any problems. Who's counting? Who is counting? 15. 40, 30, I'm not going to put my feet down, the noise is annoying me, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hug your knees, let's have a bit of a rock, let the head either come in between the knees or just rest it down on the floor or your mat. Five, four, three, on your side. Ooh. Make sure the elbow directly underneath the shoulder. And let's bring it up. Now remember you can do this with your knees down as well. Make sure this is here. Knee, knee, oh, here. 20. Just 10 more to go, people. And then we go for everybody's favorite exercise. Five, four, the boxer cycle. Three, two, you thought I was getting back up for burpees, didn't you? No, I'm not that bad. All right, lie down on your back. We're going for, ooh, a bit clammy. 32, 
boxer cycles, straight leg, bent knee, elbow to knee, everyone. One, two, straight leg. Twenty-nine, thirty. Hug. Eight, seven. Other side. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's bring that knee up. Remember, you can do it with your knees down, or you can go up. Either way, pretty beasty. If you finish before me, you get a chance to relax. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. One more for luck. Twenty. Oh god, that hurt. Ooh. Right. Back onto your back for that boxer cycle again. And then we've got one more section. I promise you. Let me turn around this way so you can see my legs. Elbows to knee. Let's go. Twenty-nine thirty. Ah, get a drink. Oi. Okay, so slow alternate leg thrusts in five, four. Guess what? You bring your knees down. Two, one. So it's a reverse out and in. Now you may think that this is nothing, <clears throat> but what I want you to do is concentrate on holding your core in and not moving and be thankful for this. What you think is a rest. Cardio wise, it definitely is a rest. Getting your breath back, heart rate going back to normal. But if you're using your correct technique, oh, here's a killer right now. Can you feel it? If not, stop waggling those hips. See, I was waggling my hips because I was just thinking about the music. Out and in, out and in. Keeping it going. Out and in. Five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> I want you to give me a quick pose of a child. Put your hands on your back because things are starting to get a little bit more hectic. By putting your hands on your back, it's an almost instant stretch and relax for the shoulders because we've got more hard work to do. So put the hands down here. Can we come up onto your feet? Make sure that the elbows, underneath the shoulders, underneath the wrists, you want to, you can go on your fists, not only does it look badass, but it also keeps your wrists in alignment. So now, it's kind of a reverse. In, out, in, out, in, out. Can you feel it? Don't go fast, that's not what, that's not what this is about. I feel that we've sweated enough already in the past 20 odd minutes. So now, I'm starting to shake. My breathing's getting a bit raggedy. Five, four, three, two, one. Pose of a child, hands on your back. I love the fact that it's instant relief for your back and instant relief for your shoulders. Kneel down. It's a nice little stretch for the quads as well while you're doing this. Roll in your shoulders. Now, can you do alternate foot touch? So, in my press up position, you can be here, and then what I want you to do is just to touch your knees. So if you're on all fours, touch your knees. Take your knees a little bit further back. If you're here, not quite a bear crawl. Three, two, one. So we've got this one. And we've got that one. You find whichever you choose, you've got to hold your core and your abs in exactly the same way. That's what's the killer. Oh. Here and down. Here and down. Tuck 
touch and down, touch and down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sit back, pose for child, arms on your back. Let's stretch those shoulders. All right, one more, and then we're done. We're in them stretches. Turn over. I just get my flannel. Ah. See, although I turn the heating off, I'm still next to the radiator as it cools down. I'm so smart. Right. Legs in the air. Aim to get your chin on your feet. Relax your neck up and down. When you've got that sorted, remember, if your legs are a bit wandery, cross them over. But when you cross them over once, I need you to do the other side. Because the chances are you do the same side all the time. So when you're nice and comfortable with your middle one, how about going to the side? Don't know if you notice, but I'm looking up at the ceiling with every single rep. It keeps the chin out of my chest because I'm not here to exercise my neck. I don't want a big muscly neck. I want abs. So that's what I'm working. No point moving your neck to exercise your six pack. Don't work like that. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hug. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. You were awesome. Let's have a quick stretch and then I'll let you go to have your breakfast and enjoy the day because the sun's come out and it's absolutely stunning. <laughs> so we start at the back. Take one leg back. Let's make it the right one. Bend into the knee, arm across. That's the one. And now let's change to the other side. So I'm just going to swizz round. Arm across. And now for the hip flexor, dropping that back knee, arm to the back. And let's change sides. So I'm doing my tricep as well as my hip flexor. We're going to take it a little bit further down into the quad. <sighs> Supporting knee slightly bent. Push your foot into your hands so you can feel the stretch here. Make sure the foot's on bum. Swap legs. Woohoo! I'm all over. <laughs> I can't stand up. And here is a good double ham. So stand wide, my toes are slightly in. Now I'm gonna come down, leading with the chest, putting both hands on one leg. So I've got my hands on my left leg, it appears to you that it's my right. So if you have your hands on your right leg, put your right arm in the air, and try and turn to look at it. You'll feel the stretch of the back of your leg. And now let's change sides. Arm in the air. Possibly feeling this all the way up to the glutes. Back to the middle, hands on the floor. Turn your heels in and uncurl vertebrae by vertebrae with your head coming up last. Arms out, thumbs down, push back. There you go, well done. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. My first.